In this video, I'm going to be making a simple panini style grilled cheese sandwich in my lodge ribbed cast iron skillet. I'm currently heating up the lodge cast iron skillet and I'm doing this upside down because this helps retain um, some of the heat, you know, inside the uh, cast iron uh, skillet. I think it heats up faster this way. I've also got at the ready my lodge cast iron uh, grill press. So I'll let this heat up first on low to medium heat for about five minutes. I also have a large handle insulator here because this is going to get pretty hot. So I like to use those. That way, if I grab the pan, I'm not going to burn myself. I have now flipped over the pan and um, you know, this is getting uh, fairly warm here. Now I like my grilled cheese sandwiches with mayonnaise. And the trick is actually to not just put mayonnaise in between the bread with the slices of cheese, but to also put mayonnaise on the outside of the bread as well, because that helps fry the bread and also sort of imparts a bit of a flavor into the bread and really makes your grilled cheese sandwich um, something a little bit more special. So I highly recommend you try that. So the first step is to put some butter into the pan. Because this is a ridged pan, you may have to sort of get it into the ridges a little bit. You don't have to put too much butter because remember we are going to put mayonnaise on the outside of the bread as well. So I've got my slice of bread here. I'm going to put mayonnaise on the bread. And the mayonnaise is actually going to go on the pan side. And then I've got some shredded uh, cheddar cheese here. You can of course use any kind of cheese that you want. And it doesn't have to be shredded. It can be sliced, thinly sliced uh, cheese as well. Uh, that seems about right for a sandwich. Got my other slice of bread here. I'm going to put mayo on that as well. This mayo is going to go on the inside, but I'm also going to put mayo on the other uh, outside part of the bread as well here. Remember this mayonnaise is going to um, sort of help the bread to fry on the outside a little bit and also impart a nice flavor as well. Mayonnaise can kind of can be considered a sort of another oil in a way. So that's why um, I didn't have to put quite as much butter as you might normally put. Now the thing about cast iron is you don't ever want to use high heat because you don't want to warp your pan. It really needs low to medium heat and it will gradually build up a lot of heat and get hotter and hotter. So it's something that you want to keep an eye on as you're cooking. When you first start out, it's not going to do a lot of cooking, but as the pan absorbs a lot of heat and as time goes on, it's going to get hotter and hotter, even if you're not turning the stove on higher. The other thing I forgot to mention is I did preheat this directly on one of the burners and I will just go ahead and put that on there and that helps sort of compress the sandwich a little bit and press it down. It also helps capture some of the heat and helps melt the cheese better as well. At this point I'm starting to see some minor smoke come off the uh, bottom surface of the pan so I'm going to go ahead and check on the sandwich and flip it and see how it's looking. Not too bad. That's just about how I like it. Uh, you can see the little grill marks right there. And depending on how hot you actually have your stove, uh, this could take several minutes or just a few minutes. It's something that you're going to want to keep an eye on. But when you start seeing smoke, that kind of means the bread is starting to slightly char and burn a little bit. And that's when you kind of know to uh, take it off the stove. And that's the other thing is the second side is going to cook a lot faster because as I mentioned, the pan is going to be getting hotter and hotter. Got my plate ready. Let's go ahead and lift this and check it. Yeah, that looks just about done. Quite simple and quite easy. A panini style grilled cheese sandwich. And the mayonnaise is kind of cooked itself uh, quite nicely into the outside of the bread, giving the bread a less of a dry uh, type taste. So that really helps add something to your uh, grilled cheese. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.